all welcome back to our channel so students in this video i am doing a whole subject explanation video of rdbms which is useful for your tomorrow's examination because many of the students are requested me to do this explanation video so whatever the important questions i have discussed in damn sure questions or a quick revision that type of answers i am explaining in this video if you are having zero knowledge in this rdbms subject also if you watch this video carefully if you listen my explanation carefully means you will definitely understand the whole subject and you can easily score O grade in the subject. So the first important question from first unit is explain about three level architecture. It is also called ANSI Spark architecture or logical DBMS architecture. Any question, question paper lo ye question achna gora idhe answer ikka nunchi ikka varku ikka nunchi ikka varku anna nunchi apesi adi motam batti vatkal na kante no. No need to buy hard answers. So I will explain. Three level architecture means the data. Manam data ne dekhal store jaise hum database lo store jaise hum. Our database ni any levels lo divide jaise haru. Three levels ka divide jaise haru. What are the three levels? External level, conceptual level, and internal level. This is an external level, conceptual level, and internal level. This is the database. Manam data ne dekhal ontari. We are external level. For example, Usmania University. When results are out, you will check your hall ticket results. Okay? So you will check your result. నీకు అంత నీ రిజల్ట్ కనిపిస్తుంది కానీ యూనివర్సిటీ అందరు యూనివర్సిటీ అఫిలియేటెడ్ ఎంత మంది స్టూడెంట్స్ రాస్తారో వాళ్ళందరి రిజల్ట్స్ అయితే నీకు అనిపించదు కదా వాళ్ళందరూ రిజల్ట్స్ అనేది డేటాబేస్ లో స్టోర్ అవుతాయి హూ ఈస్ హ్యాండ్లింగ్ దట్ డీబీఏ ఏ ఆఫ్ ఉస్మానియా యూనివర్సిటీ పర్సన్ బట్ వీఆర్ ఓన్లీ అన్ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ లెవెల్ మనకి ఓన్లీ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ లెవెల్ మనకి ఇదే కనిపిస్తుంది దాని వెనకాల ఏముందనేసి మనకు అనిపించదు కదా ఓకే సో ఈ డయాగ్రామ్ అనేది కంపల్సరీగా డ్రా చేయాలి స్టూడెంట్స్ ఏం లేదు ఎక్స్టర్నల్ లెవెల్ కాన్సెప్షన్ లెవెల్ ఇంటర్నల్ లెవెల్ అండ్ డేటాబేస్ అని చెప్పేసి ఈ డయాగ్రామ్ డ్రా చేసి ఈచ్ లెవెల్ ని ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేయాలి ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ లెవెల్ లో ఏముంటుంది వి మనం ఉంటాము అంటే వేర్ వి ఆర్ సీయింగ్ ద డేటా ఓన్లీ ద రిక్వైర్డ్ డేటా వి ఆర్ నాట్ యాక్సెసింగ్ ద హోల్ డేటా బేస్ రైట్ వి ఆర్ యాక్సెసింగ్ ఓన్లీ అవర్ డేటా బై ఎంటరింగ్ యువర్ హాల్ టికెట్ నెంబర్ ఓన్లీ ఇట్ విల్ షో యువర్ రిజల్ట్స్ ఇట్ విల్ నాట్ షో యువర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ రిజల్ట్ బై వితౌట్ ఎంటరింగ్ యువర్ నెంబర్ right that is called as external level what are the external level advantages it allows multiple persons to work to on database right no so while checking usmania university results many thousands lakhs of uh, students will check their results at the one time only that time everyone has a access right so this is the advantage of external level okay so i hope you are getting my point so this is the external level and the next one is conceptual level next one is conceptual level what is mean by conceptual level conceptual level represents the global view of data environment within external views for example this level ante ipudi level for example i will take a college database principal he is the head me college lo principal head okay principal ki student data view view chesukochu faculty data view chesukochu and management data kuda access chesukochu kani student ki atla untada undadu student has no access to see any data except the student data vaala data tappa vera data use chesukone chance anedi vaaku undadu alle faculty ki principal data use chesukone chance untada undadu only students data use chesukone chance anedi untundi conceptual level ante at macro level ante big level of data environment ani ardamu ardamainda so deeniki advantages endi it provides macro level view of data environment and the second one is it is a software and hardware independent okay so it does not have any impact on data design database design la em emantaru impact anedi choopiyadu anantunnaru what is the internal level internal level represents the physical representation of data okay this is the lowest level of data where everything stored here only okay students no person can view this internal level everyone are related to the external level only because data is stored in fields physical sequence stored records and so on ఇట్లా మీరు రాయాలి ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు టేక్ స్క్రీన్ షాట్ యూ క్యాన్ టేక్ జస్ట్ మనకి దిస్ డయాగ్రామ్ ఈస్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అండ్ దిస్ ఆన్సర్ హోల్ ఆన్సర్ యూ షుడ్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ బై యువర్ హోన్ ఫర్ ఎయిట్ మార్క్స్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇన్ ఫస్ట్ యూనిట్ ఈస్ డీబీఏ హూ ఈస్ డీబీ వాట్ ఆర్ రోల్స్ అండ్ రెస్పాసిబిలిస్ డీబీఏ సెన్స్ డేటా అడ్మినిస్ట్రేటర్ ఓకే వాట్ ఆర్ డిఫరెంట్ రోల్స్ మీస్ మేనేజ్ రోల్స్ ఎన్ యూజర్ సపోర్ట్ మీ వాట్ ఇస్ యూజర్ సపోర్ట్ డీబీ ప్రొవైడ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ డేటా మీస్ ఇన్ ఇంటరాక్ట్ విత్ ద ఎండ్ యూజర్ will interact with the end user he is the person who is making database from the person who is seeing the data from the server who is providing the data yeah, as a middle person right what are his roles collecting user requirements if you want to search a channel in google he will collect the information required then providing solutions to the information required after searching our youtube channel you will get the entire information regarding our channel right so that is he is his roles and responsibilities next one policies procedures and standards what is in policies procedures and standards policies are statements that are used to support direction of dba goals means while the goals me goal ekundo a professional goal ekundo succeed like they have some policies and programs where he need to follow that right ప్రొసీజర్ వాళ్ళకి ఒక రిటర్న్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ అనేది ఉంటుంది అకార్డింగ్ టు దాట్ ఓన్లీ హీ షుడ్ పర్ఫామ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ నెక్స్ట్ డేటా సెక్యూరిటీ అండ్ ప్రైవసీ ఇంటిగ్రిటీ వాళ్ళు ఏం చేస్తారు డేటాని సెక్యూర్ చేస్తారు ప్రైవసీగా ఉంటారు డేటా అనేది కన్సిస్టెంట్ కరెక్ట్ ఇంటిగ్రిటీ మీన్స్ కన్సిస్టెంట్ డేటా అనేది కరెక్ట్ వేలో ఉన్నదా లేదా అనేది చూస్తారు దిస్ ఈజ్ హిస్ రోల్ నెక్స్ట్ డేటా బ్యాకప్ అండ్ రికవరీ డేటాబేస్ లో ఉన్న డేటాని బ్యాకప్ ని రికవర్ ని చేసే రోల్ అనేది ఎవరి దగ్గర ఉంది డీబీఏ దగ్గర ఉంది హీ హ్యాస్ దాట్ రోల్ అండ్ కెపాసిటీ టు డూ దట్ వర్క్ next data distribution and use data distribution and use means he will distribute the data to authentic people in a correct format if i am asking an image picture he should provide me the image picture that is his data distribution and use and the last one is technical roles 
what is technical roles to design the implement and application of data to test and evaluation database and whether the database is correct format or not he need to check uh, he need to check that okay these are his roles what are his functions what are the functions of dba defining the scheme of database defining the scheme of database means two two types like conceptual scheme and internal scheme okay the next one is modifying scheme of database modifying scheme of database means if any changes required in the database he will change that he will modify the database okay next authorizing the users users whether the user is a authorized person or a fake person or a hacker he need to check by giving the emails etc etc okay next communicating with the users how will how he will communicate with the users by email chat support etc etc he will communicate with their users next one is regular maintenance regular maintenance means monitoring performance whether the database is security or not and regular backups he should be there availability of free place in that database he should mention that <coughs> he should mention and he should check that whether the space is there in database or not this is the dba roles and functions this is an important question okay and the next one is er model entity relationship model this is also an important question students so don't neglect this question this is an important question er model what is the er model it means structure of database using a diagram we are storing the data in the database using a diagram is called entity relationship model that is er model how many types we are having components entities attributes and relationship entity means here i will show you the example student customer department like this he is dividing right attributes attributes means in student what are the things we will uh, include student name student id student hall ticket number student phone number student age student course everything we will include in that student data that is called attribute next one is relationships relationships means we are linking the one data to another data for example chain notation customer creates accounts customer to accounts he is what he is doing creating the accounts right so what are the advantages of er model we are having er model results in conceptual thinking conceptual visualization modeling it will visualize the conceptual level okay next effective communication tool because of visualizing presentation instead of text we are using diagrams it will be more convenient and more easy to understand right and the third one disadvantage of what is it has limited constraints it does not data dml command it does not support it since it results to information loss since these are all disadvantages of er model okay students so this is the er model uh, using uh, like a student perspective okay so what are another question they may ask about the explain er model and uh, explain about the student data like that they will ask so what are the types of er model we are having rectangle type ellipse type diamond type line type double ellipse dash ellipse double rectangle double lines just to draw this table it will be enough just to draw this table it is an important question so try to draw this table i will upload this video in uh, telegram channel okay so this is the four important questions from first unit students try to learn all these units now we will discuss about these unit number two normalization normalization in our channel i have already uploaded a video so try to watch that video here i will tell about the, what are the rules of normalization we are having where we are storing the data using normal form to so, standardize the format is known as normalization there are 1nf 2nf 3nf and bcnf so try to watch the video you will be more understand about that concept okay any question same answer if you watch that video this is the first and last question from unit number two Okay, these are all normalization answers. Only if you uh, learn some material, means you will not get all answers. So that's why try to watch the video. You will easily get ten marks by watching that video. Okay. So part B. In part, sorry. In from unit number three, the first question what I have said SQL commands. Here it is. Different DDL commands used SQL commands. What are the different DDL commands we are having? DDL stands for Data Definition Language. It is known as Data Definition Language. What are the commands we are having? Create command, alter command, drop command, describe command, and rename command. Just what you need to keep the heading create. This command is used to create a table. Syntax you should write. Create table table name. For example, column name, data type, null, like this. Here, this much it is enough. No need to learn this all. Just to this much. Okay, this is about the create. Or else you can example explain with the example. How we will enter the create table? Create table and table name. Customer is the table name and CID. CID means customer ID, integer, not null. This type of alter also alter keep heading and till here you should write. Okay, and example also this is. So try to learn this command. It is very much and guaranteed question which will come in unit number three. It is not that much easy. Uh, like um, uh, not to learn any like explanation. Just remember this syntaxes. Okay. And another concept is joints concept. How many joints we are having? Inner join, outer join, self join, and cross join diagrams. You need to draw students. So only two questions. If you want to learn joints and views concept, you can learn. Okay. So this is the third third unit fourth unit what you are having the first question is acid properties acid properties that is a main stands for atomicity consistency isolation and durability try to learn this meanings and try to write the whole answer by your own this is the first important question and the second important question is what is lock different types of locks types of locks means binary lock we will have shared lock we will have what is mean by binary lock like this you need to learn what is mean by shared lock in shared lock exclusive lock shared lock everything you will have ma okay 
so different what is mean by locking explain different types of locks this is also an important question and the third most important question is deadlock and its prevention what is mean by deadlock deadlock is unwanted situation in database when one transaction is waiting for another transaction to release the lock for example suppose a transaction t holds an exclusive call exclusive lock on some data item so this is all the example if you learn means you will easily get to know so what are the deadlock preventions we are having wait to die what are the wait to die advantages and what are the wait to die disadvantages next one bound to wait what are the advantages and disadvantages two types we are having prevention techniques try to learn that okay next one is the last important question from unit number four is this is the most important question mark database recovery and database security this is the most important question database recovery means process of restoring the database process of restoring the data from database is called data recovery what are the different methods we are having to data recovery what is mean by data security as i said data security means containing policies and programs to protect the data by creating passwords and etc like secrecy integrity availability try to explain this okay so what is mean by uh, secrecy means a student should not be allowed to examine other student grades as i said you are allowed to see only your results it is not at all having any right to see other results until and until you will get hall ticket number what is mean by integrity student may be allowed to see the grades yet not allowed to modify them means me vere vaala data ni nu chudochu kaani dani nu edit cheyalevu modify cheyalevu an antunadu what is mean by availability an instructor who wishes to change a grade should be allowed to do so only your faculty has a right to change the grade from your result okay students this is the database security this is an important question and uh, last question from unit number 4 this is the fifth unit mark in fifth unit what i have said structure of distributed database management system ddbms so it is not much important so try to look at on that so what is the advantages and disadvantages of <coughs> ddbms that is distributed database management system what are the advantages we are having it facilitate to add new sites affecting the operations these are all uh, advantages try to learn any five advantages and the disadvantages is data integrity backup security recovery techniques this all will not have in database distributed database management system and advantages and disadvantages of rdbms is also an important question data replication will be asked for two marks ma here to here is enough for two marks okay and data fragmentation is also important for two marks okay and the last question is client server architecture important eight marks question client server architecture who is client server architecture server means here clients we are having three clients server is providing the information to first client second client and third client that is called client server architecture so try to remember this diagram and try to write whole this answer by your own okay students so this is all about the video so i will upload this pdf in telegram group so try to watch uh, check out in telegram group okay so previously i do have explained every topic in our related to rdbms subject so try to watch that playlist is available in our channel okay so all the very best students for the examination and preparation uh, see you all in the next video and do comment me in the comment section how you felt about the video and after writing the examination how question paper got you please comment me in the comment section thank you so much all the very best good luck okay